Well, why don't you tell me why I stayed? All right, you stayed at the ranch because you love me. It's all right. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Drew Dan Interviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear the Walking Dead, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another top five ranking list. We're going to do the top five best moments of Troy Otto from Fear the Walking Dead. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video for today, this one's going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead, another ranking video, this is the top 5 best moments of Troy Otto from Fear the Walking Dead. So, um, this one was the highest voted uh, character on the vote this week, uh, and of course uh, I was very happy to see that because Troy is one of my all time favorite characters of Fear the Walking Dead. Um, such a complex character, such a out there character, such a interesting villain, and then good guy at the same time, and you don't know where he stands, and he does things that are kind of screwed up, and then next thing you know, he's doing things that are kind of cool, and it's like, you know, it's just like you don't know where to stand with this guy, right? So he's had a lot of moments throughout the series. Unfortunately, he was only in season three. Um... But even though he was only in one season, he was a very, very memorable character uh, and one that was really, really good. So anyway, um, let's get into this. Let's talk about the top five best moments of Troy. Keep in mind, there are a lot more than just these five, but these are the five that I ultimately picked uh, for this list. And... Um, I think they're pretty darn good. So, okay, starting off with number five, it is going to be Troy versus Madison. So this easily is one of my favorite moments of Troy uh, in the series because it's very symbolic and it also sets up a lot that's going on, right? Troy is kicked out of the ranch. Uh, of course, Walker wants him out of there immediately. And he actually does end up killing one of Walker's guys in the back of the truck, which is pretty friggin' badass. And he ends up fighting Madison one-on-one. -on -one. She actually does end up winning the fight and gets the gun back to him. Um, and Madison doesn't shoot him, which you could argue, and this is why I like this scene so much, she doesn't shoot him, and then he walks off and destroys the ranch, you know, in his own way, by leading the horde and doing all that kind of stuff. And if Madison just shot him in that moment... Um, she could have saved the ranch, right? So it's pretty insane uh, when you look at it in that kind of way. And I think that's why the scene is so complex. Um, and it's just, it's it's insane. I mean, it's insane how the scene is. It's very, uh, very exciting and definitely a moment from Troy that I'll never forget. Because I remember in that scene, I was like, oh, Madison, you probably should have shot him. Um, but of course, she hammers him in the head later on. So of course, it uh, doesn't matter. But yeah, that, that scene to me was very, very exciting. And it was a good moment for Troy, uh, for sure. Coming to number four is then going to be Troy kills the family. So, in Season 3, Episode 6, we did get to see the one group, uh, the one family that, of course, left the ranch. Uh, they didn't want anything to do with the fight with Walker. Um, and everybody kind of assumed that, you know, they were killed by Walker trying to get away. But you kind of get the reveal, uh, as he kind of tells Madison, that he killed that family just because he didn't, you know, he didn't want them alive. He was upset that they were leaving, right? So, yeah, Troy uh, just went full, just crazy mode, killed an entire family, uh, just because they left the ranch. I mean, that to me is absolutely insane. And it's one of his biggest like evil moves because the family was innocent. You know, the family just wanted to get out of there and he just straight up killed them because he wanted to, you know? That, to me, was one of the craziest scenes uh, of the entire series uh, for me. Because it's like Troy just, he couldn't help himself, you know. He had to go after that family. He had to kill them because, just because, you know. And I think that's what makes it so crazy. Number three is then going to be Troy and Nick get high. So, if you guys don't remember this one, this one's pretty uh, pretty funny. Um, he and Troy have a really, uh, really, really cool bond, uh, Nick and Troy. They have a lot of really funny scenes together. Uh, but this was one of the best. When they're wandering around in the streets, uh, covering covered in zombie uh, guts and blood and all that stuff and they're both like just high right and for once Nick is actually doing the risky thing and Troy is like worried like he's like Nick maybe we shouldn't do this you know <laughs> so I don't know I find it uh, I kind of found it funny because throughout a lot of season three Nick is always the one telling Troy like Troy maybe we shouldn't do this like maybe you know that's not a good idea and um Finally, in this time, in this situation, Troy is actually scared, and he's telling Nick, eh, maybe we shouldn't do this, you know? So, I don't know. There was something funny about it, and I, I love their banter. And speaking of that, number two is then going to be Troy and Nick fight Walker's people in the house. So, this was a crazy sequence. Basically, 
they are telling Troy that they're going to kick him off the ranch. They're telling him that, you know, you got to, uh, you know, you got to let us in. And he tells everybody to get the hell out, except for Nick. He lets Nick stay in the house with him. And there's a major shootout that ensues. And Nick, of course, is punished by going into the hot box, but Troy is just banished from the ranch uh, in general. Um, and I love the scene when Nick is sitting there in the middle of the shootout, and he straight up tells him that he killed his father. I mean, that to me is insane. That is absolutely insane. So definitely to me, that is one of the craziest scenes uh, for Troy. That was a crazy, crazy moment. And his biggest moment, and in my opinion, the uh, biggest moment for Troy really throughout the entire series is going to be season three, episode 12, leading the horde to the ranch. He was off his rocker in this one, and it has to be his biggest just what the hell moment. And it's his best moment because he's kicked out of the ranch. He sees a zombie horde. He leads it towards them, which therefore gets his brother killed. So he kills his brother in the process. Um, you know, they try to save him, but it doesn't work. Jake is uh, dead. And, you know, the ranch is destroyed. People, so many people die. It's absolutely one of the craziest moments in the series. And it's one of my favorite episodes of Fear of the Walking Dead 2, uh, Brothers Keeper, uh, where Troy just goes full, just crazy mode and does not let anybody have the ranch. You know, he's like, you're going to kick me out? Well, none of you are going to have the ranch. How about that? You know, if you're going to kick me out, nobody gets to have the ranch. Everybody has to leave. Or the, the people that don't leave, they'll die. Yeah, that's what we do. So, I don't know, Troy in that that scene, it has to be his craziest moment, it has to be his best moment if you ask me, because the domino effect of it is insane. You know, Madison didn't shoot him in that scene previous, then he does this, and then he takes over the ranch, uh, and you know, of course the ranch falls and everybody's on the road again, and Madison finds out and of course whacks him in the head twice with a hammer. So, to me, this easily is Troy's biggest moment because everything is connected to this one scene, this one thing he did. So to me, it's the biggest moment for Troy and it's easily his biggest, uh, you know, just what the hell moment, right? So let me know in the comment section below, what are your favorite moments of Troy throughout the entire series of Fear of the Walking Dead? Definitely a character that I would say is very underrated and a character that is very, very good. He's why season three, in my opinion, is as good as it is, is because of his character, because of how charismatic he is and, um, just how crazy he is uh, throughout, you know, the whole season. Uh, it's unfortunate that he wasn't in season four and he didn't, you know, continue. But season three, he was really amazing for sure. So probably one of the best, like, one season characters of The Walking Dead for sure. So anyway, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for if you're The Walking Dead. Be sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos for if you're The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.